what is a virtual host how server identifies the application to which the request has to be forwarded to in a virtual host a virtual host is a concept in which we run multiple domains on the same physical machine okay so even though we have multiple domains the ip of the multiple domains will always point to the same machine for example if abc.com and xyz.com both website can be used on the same tomcat instance or in other words if both the domain point to the same machine ip then they form a part of a virtual host there is something which is also called shared hosting now the answer to second part how the server identifies which application has to be invoked in the virtual host so the answer to this is that the web server identifies to which application it has to be forwarded the request to by analyzing the content of host header from the incoming http packet so in case the host header contains abc.com then it will go to the deployment directory of abc.com and serve the application page okay and if it is xyz.com then it will go to the deployment directory of xyz.com to fetch the page being requested okay what is a sticky session and what are its advantages or disadvantages again this is a very common question being asked from a middle level developer sticky session is basically used when a server is a part of cluster and it is behind a load balancer the load balancer here ensures that a particular node will only respond to a particular user in other words if a user has got a session opened on server 1 then his further subsequent communication will be forwarded to server 1 only to maintain the session consistency how would you configure a log file retention policy the retention of log files can be configured from logging dot properties okay and this file resides under conf directory of tomcat so we can open that file and we can define the retention policy by default it is uh, it is keeping log files for 90 days okay and a new file is created every uh, on a different date so for a particular date a new file is created by default so this this default approach we can change it from logging dot properties file then a very important question what are connectors and or you may get a question what is executor and what is the difference between a connector and executor and and some permutation and combination of this concept there is a very clear cut difference the connectors job is basically to listen for incoming request from the end user once the connection is established by connectors then it is the duty of executor to perform the execution of jsp or servlet and send back the response to the end user okay so they have clearly different demarcated task the connectors only takes the connection okay and the executor uh, it, it is the duty of executor to execute that executors can be increased or decreased because they are basically the threads okay so once you increase the number of threads uh, you can increase the concurrency of the server itself what is the difference between catalina home and catalina base all right so this is a very generic question and the answer to this is catalina home always points to the home directory of your tomcat okay and if not explicitly set then catalina base always points to catalina home the usage of catalina base comes when you define virtual host onto a tomcat cluster okay so if you are defining virtual host then you have different catalina base values then a very common question how would you search the tomcat process in linux make sure you answer this question otherwise uh, 
it can spoil everything because this is a very generic question related to OS so in Linux we have process command PS okay and PS minus EF and we pipe this process into uh, another command which is grep this is basically used to search something and we are searching for tomcat so PS minus EF grep tomcat okay so this is one thing the next question is how to kill the process so obviously this command will give you a process ID and you need to uh, type another command which is kill minus 9 9 is basically to forcefully kill any process and you need to provide the process name to this kill command to kill it okay so this is a very common question which is asked 